Hello and welcome to today's video. This video brings to you Box House 1760. Stay tuned to find out more about this amazing family house design. Good, welcome back. Box House 1760 is a magnificent five bedroom shipping container house designed using 10 high cube 20 foot shipping containers. This video will bring to you a complete presentation of dimension drawings, a cost estimate checklist, 3D floor plans and full color pictures of the exterior and the interior design of this shipping container house. Watch to the end of the video for the dimensioned floor plans and a cost estimate checklist to guide you in your own shipping container house project. We post weekly videos on modern homes designed using shipping containers with stunning configurations to create bespoke designs suitable for any family size. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our inspiring weekly videos on amazing design ideas and reviews of shipping container homes. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. To start us off, we look at the design concept. This design uses 10 20 feet shipping container modules to create a 1760 100 plus square feet box house. The containers are stacked in pairs to create a three-storied house in two wings. An additional set of containers is stacked perpendicularly with a vertical circulation spine in the middle of the structure. The left wing of the house has only a single pair of containers elevated on the first floor level with an elegant steel frame painted in elegant red. The space above the container roof is used as a covered family terrace, while the space below it on the ground floor level has been lined up to create a garage for two cars. Design Brief This five bedroom 1760 plus square foot house is made from 10 high cube shipping containers. Two 20-foot shipping containers on the ground floor accommodate the public spaces of the house. Two additional pairs of stacked containers on the first floor accommodate the bedroom spaces and the last pair of containers on the second floor accommodates the private bed spaces of the house. In this stunning family house, we've managed to ingeniously accommodate the following salient features. On the ground floor, we have an entry porch which ushers you into the house. You get into a foyer. From the foyer, you can go on your left to access the staircase lobby which will take you to the upper stories. Or from the garage, you get into the staircase lobby and then you get into the foyer and then from there, you are able to get into the living room of the house. So from there, you are able to access the kitchen space, which is also next to a small laundry space and a kitchen yard. The living room has a big lounge and also a dining space. From the living room, you are able to access the outdoor terrace space which offers a good conducive environment for outdoor living. On the first floor, we have four bedrooms which are all and suite. We also have a family room and a Juliet balcony to that family room. On the second floor, we have it exclusive for the master bedroom spaces. So we have a master bedroom, we have a mini lounge to the master bedroom, we have a master bathroom and a walk-in closet. We also have a private study room or a family office. We have a rompers room on your way to the master bedroom and also to the, to the office space and also an outdoor family terrace which is elevated on the first floor level roof of the shipping containers 
that are creating a garage space below it. Foundation design. The containers sit on a 250 millimeters reinforced concrete raft foundation. This allows us to elevate the containers off the ground away from moisture. You are encouraged to observe construction good principles on concrete ratio mix, climate and concrete curing when casting your foundation slab. To fit the elevated steel frame, you are encouraged to consult a structural engineer on the correct foundation type to use and the correct steel member sizes for that frame. For more information, you are encouraged to go through our previous presentation on the top five foundation types used in shipping container homes and buildings. Structure and modifications. The roof and walls of shipping containers are structural and load bearing. Containers are designed to be loaded at the corners and therefore any intermediary loading must be reinforced with additional steel. Cutting out too much steel from the walls for doors and windows interferes with the structural integrity of shipping container. Our design principle as shelter mode homes, we do not tamper with the roof and the floor of our shipping container modules. The design as presented to you retains the original cargo doors on the container ends to create Juliet balconies to the master bedroom, the study, the family room and the kitchen yard on the ground floor to complement the functionality of this family home. In this design, we do not have any specialized modifications. The containers on the left wing of the house are stacked at the corners without any intermediary loading and are linked with a staircase vertically for access. On the left wing of the house, we only have a single pair of containers elevated on the first floor level with an elegant steel frame painted in elegant red to create the lightness feel of using shipping containers. For the study and the family room respectively, the end panels have been fitted with full glazing to create an interrupted outdoor connection. The entire frontage and width of the living room on the ground floor has been fronted by an open deck for outdoor living. The stack of containers is covered with a butterfly roof oriented inwards towards the center spine. This iconic roof is also a design statement that gives character to this family home. For shelter mode homes, we do not drive our cars into shipping containers to create a garage. We find it not economical and also space constricting. In this regard, we opt to elevate the containers above and cover the residual spaces below with an appropriate siding material to enclose that space to create a garage space. Outdoors and exterior design. The open plan living room on the ground floor has been fitted with full height folding glass doors which connect the indoor living space to the outdoors provided by the outdoor sitting deck on that particular level. Folding doors are good space savers and ideal to use in any shipping container house. As a sustainable design statement in our design, the exterior of all our shipping containers has been left as they are including the original yellow, gray, and blue color and their markings. This helps you to preserve the charm and the history of these containers in addition to reducing the cost of giving a fresh paint to the exteriors. We also have additional outdoor spaces on the first floor level through Juliet balconies and also an extensive outdoor space for the family terrace on the second floor level. Furniture and interior design. Fitting furniture into a shipping container home can be a challenge since most standard furniture hasn't been designed for such small spaces. You are encouraged to incorporate multifunctional transforming furniture and other space saving furniture ideas like sofa beds, muffy beds, folding chairs and tables to allow a single space to transform itself from one function to another at different time of the day. 
For more information, you are encouraged to watch our previous video on top 10 modern space-saving furniture design ideas for shipping container homes. To minimize the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container, the walls of all the living spaces has been finished in monochrome light-colored paint to make the spaces appear bigger. Since this is a container house, consider using similar materials to finish the kitchen backsplash and the bathroom walls. This repetitive theme creates harmony, therefore making the house spacious. Consider using flat pack cabinets for the kitchen and also for the wardrobes to cut on costs. Insulation and temperature control. Shipping containers are made of cotton steel. Steel is a good conductor of heat and therefore to live in a shipping container home, insulation and temperature control is essential in turning a container into a comfortable home, without which a container home would be like an oven in summer and freezing in winter. The climate of your location is the biggest determinant of the type of insulation or temperature control strategy to use in your shipping container house. If you are building in the cold climate, use in an insulation material that will keep away the cold and moisture from your container house. Closed cell spray foam insulation provides an airtight water barrier and also prevents condensation. This is ideal for cold climates. For the tropical climate, keeping out heat from your container house is of paramount importance. A layer of earth wool insulation blanket lined with plasterboard will offer adequate temperature control for hot and dry climates. The corrugated steel roof is elevated above the container roof to allow for airflow to keep the interior of the shipping containers cool in summer. For more information on green building design strategies and ideas, watch our previous video on 25 plus green building design ideas for shipping container homes. Drawings and details. This presentation covers a complete set of fully dimensioned drawings to guide you in your own shipping container house project. The drawing set includes dimensioned floor plans, a roof plan, and elevations. The drawings come in both color and grayscale, so you are encouraged to pick your preference. Feel free to adapt or adopt anything you like from our design from these drawings that is suitable for your own shipping container house project. The cost estimates checklist. This is an itemized checklist to guide you on the things to consider when planning your own shipping container house project. Go through the list and find out what you feel has been omitted and add. If you feel there is an over provision, you are also encouraged to remove what is not appropriate so that you can have a complete checklist to suit your own shipping container house project. The prices come again. The pricing of the items on the list may is sub come again. The pricing of the items on this list is subject to vary depending on your country currency exchange rates, taxes, and also government regulations. So for correct and factual figures, consult the relevant expert in your country. So, having gone through this presentation, what do you feel about our new house design? Do you like it? Or do you have any questions? Feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration, you are encouraged to visit our YouTube channel for other container homes designs. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. You are encouraged to visit our website sheltermode.com or follow us on Twitter at sheltermode. If you want to buy blueprints or need further consultation, contact us on our website or like and inbox us on our Facebook page. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't for our weekly videos on shipping container homes design and shipping container homes reviews. See you in the next video.